Looks really like, like we it. got it our. Looks like we got it. Looks like we got our guy. The the chat mill, rumor mill is Who, burning. Is it? I yeah, see. Since uh, this is the Bears pick, I'm trying to wait for confirmation, guys. I, I mean, John just tweeting it. Is that yeah. enough for you? Yeah. That, uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's fin- not Finley. I, I, I don't. Yeah. Here it is. All right, guys. The Bears pick is in at number 53, and they do get their three technique. Jervon Dexter. Oh, oh, Woot is not happy. They pass uh, on a second straight night. The disrespect to Northwestern is real here. No Peter Skaronsky, no Adetamo Adabore. It is Jervon Dexter, big, athletic, durable, lack of protection, little concerning, yep. uh, especially because he's played a lot of snaps. I'd like to point out, Will, you're right. This is as quiet as this room has been <laughs> since this show started. My goodness. Uh, but this is somebody who's still developing. I'll tell you my favorite little nugget, though, on Javon Dexter. Yeah. You'll appreciate this as a defensive lineman. He has two interceptions. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, you take that. I had five in college, man. Try back into that flat. <laughs> but as a D-tackle, that's pretty impressive there. So I, I, think, I think the upside is here. But in my opinion, in this, in this, in this Tampa 2, I would have liked double-A right here. I, I think he would have been a little bit better of a fit. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not unhappy because it is a three technique, but it's not the three technique that I wanted. Right. Yeah, so I, 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 think, I think he'll be a solid player, but I would have liked double-A right here because I think he's really going to flourish as a three technique in, in the NFL. Woo, while Adam's pulling up the scouting report here in the Bs, I know you know a lot about all these guys. What about Dexter do you think could have had him ranked higher than Tommy? Because yeah. obviously you had your preference, yep. but what stands out? Like what could the Bears have saw there? So double A is a little bit shorter, 6'2", six, 6'3". Six, uh, Dexter, 6'6". Six, six. Length has been, has been a big theme for okay. polls, right? You look at Darnell Wright, that's why they passed on Peter Skaronsky. I don't even think he was on their board to draft. So I think length is the biggest thing that polls is looking at. So I think he's looking... At the defensive end, defensive tackles, he wants guys that are 6'5 and above. You know, I just think it's, for the average fan, it's not a recognizable name. All the names we've been talking about, that's why you kind of felt the air come out the room for a minute, because we're talking about these guys, and the guys we're talking about isn't the one they say. Exactly. At the end of the day, for me personally, you know, Ryan Poles is the one doing these evaluations. (laughs) I thought he did a good job in the draft last year, so... You get your three technique. You got an offensive yeah. lineman last year, la- or in the first round yesterday. Let's roll with it and see what they do here yeah. with the next two picks. Uh, by the way, if you're if you're trying to figure out Greg Braggs Jr., okay, if he likes something, he will tell you he likes it. If he doesn't, if he hates it, he'll be like, I trust Ryan Poles. <laughs> that's the code. That's, yeah, I think he does. Okay, though. Well, how am I to say that I hate the pick? When, no, I, no, when, I, saying, when I didn't but watch inside, Jervon, inside. how could I say that I hate, hated the pick when I didn't watch Jervon Dexter play? How could you say you like it? <laughs> well, if I like it, that means I watched him play. But yeah, oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. You know? you, you look Speak on what you know. You, you look okay. at him, and at times he yeah. really flashes, mm-hmm. but sometimes I question his motor. Yep. I, I question his arsenal as far as pass rush. Um, yeah, I, I honestly thought double A would be the really good fit here. Um, and I wouldn't be opposed to if they if they would have went defensive end here and then later looked to double A with that later pick or Carl Brooks mm-hmm. potentially. I mean, um, yeah, I just I, I just question the motor of Dexter right here. All right, well let me give you the. the I was gonna say if you the, want me to quote what Dane Brugler said about him. Then no, I got it for you right here. I mean, we I, I gave you our scouting report. I mean, I, he's big, athletic, durable player. He's played a lot of football. Yeah. A little disappointing on the production for yeah. me is the only thing. I mean, we're talking about he's been a two-year starter, total of four and a half sacks. Mm-hmm. It, now, but if they think he can, his can, size is incredible. I mean, six six three twelve. It's a big, it's really technique. quick. Um, so uh, the here's here's what uh, Dane Brugler has in the beast on Jervon Dexter. Five-star recruit out of high school, Dexter was the number three defensive tackle in the 2020 recruiting class. One spot ahead of Jalen Carter. Oh. And the, by the way, I should point out that Brugler also has Dexter ahead of Adetamo Anabore and Keanu Benton, by the way. Well, because that's the thing, Woot. I mean, yeah. you said it yesterday that you felt like double A didn't really have a – he's a tweener. He is. And this guy is more of a true three technique, right? But, so when, that's but when it comes down to the Tampa 2 scheme, I thought he's a perfect fit for, for the three technique. But yeah. a, a traditional 4-3 – 
Um, I felt like he probably would have played in and, and, and kicked inside, kind of like what they're going to do with Walker okay. on the left side. And what I keep seeing here, too, is he does have that quick burst to he get does. that penetration, quick. which, uh, again, does yeah. help. And by the way, I want to point Devin. out the pick is being officially announced right now by Devin the GOAT, Hester. Devin Hester. Mark Carmen's favorite returner, not Cordell Soldier Patterson. Boy. The greatest of the all greatest. time. Go, go, go. The absolute GOAT in Devin Hester is in Kansas City, and he did just announce it. He did it. the and Devin Hester just did the Gator Chomp. Coming from a Miami Hurricane. Yeah, well, I, have a feeling, I have a feeling Alex Brown likes Jervon like Dexter. <laughs> <laughs> Just going on a limb there. Uh, a little bit more on Jervon Dexter. Highly recruited in basketball. Received offers from national powers like Syracuse and Virginia in basketball uh, before his sophomore year. Despite not playing high school football until his junior year, recruitment took off quickly. Received offers before he even took the field. Midway through his junior year, Dexter had scholarship offers from Alabama, Florida, Georgia, two dozen others. Growing up a Gators fan, he committed to Florida, became the first consensus five-star recruit under former head coach Dan Mullen two months before he enrolled in Gainesville. His father passed away at 50 after a bacterial infection spread to his heart, which required a valve to be replaced and also led to brain surgery to address an aneurysm. That's very sad. Two years later, Jervon welcomed his infant son, Jervon LaShawn Dexter Jr. Dexter uh, elected to skip his senior season and enter the draft. Strengths on the Jervon Dexter, he looks the part, He's filling out his enormous frame and wingspan, athletic for his size with basketball feet and body control. These are things right away you know Ryan mm -hmm. Poles loves. Uh, uses his flexibility to slither into gaps or flatten down the line. Flashes a violent arm over rip move to clear the center, able to uproot blockers when he attacks upward with leverage and drives his feet. Strong, balanced base versus the run, extends his long arms to stand up and dispose blockers, making stops in the hole, holds up well versus double teams and keeps his shoulders square to the line. He reads the backfield well, using different peak techniques once he engages blockers. He plays with urgency in the run game, took on more of a leadership role in 2022 and is described as a, quote, unifying presence behind the scenes by his coaches. Uh, durable and played in all 38 games the last three seasons. Those are the strengths on Trevon Dexter. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the athleticism is there. The size is there. That's what it seems like Poles is trying to go for, the length. That's the biggest thing right there. But when I, when I look at his tape, he's really good around, against the run, but I don't see that burst off the ball, man. That's, mm -hmm. that's, that's why I'm not sold on him, right? When I look at double A, his burst off the ball, even at Northwestern when he played end, when he played three technique, he got off the football. And I think his natural fit would have been great in this Tampa 2 scheme. I think Dexter probably could have been a 3-4 a end, potentially. I think that's probably where he would have been fit. Um, he could play a, a, a base 4-3 as well. Who knows? It, it could pan out. He has the athleticism. Maybe if he, he really gets off the football, maybe this will work out. But to me, I'm, I'm, I'm not in love with the pick. But let me ask you this. <clears throat> when you talk about his size, his 6'6", 313 pounds, is he the type of interior defensive lineman that's just going to take on blockers to let these three linebackers run loose? You know, like I, I always go back yeah. to the days of Ted Washington and yeah. Keith Trailer and letting Brian Urlacher yeah. go out and feast. We just bring in Tremaine Edmonds. Yeah. We bring in, you know, a linebacking core that looks dangerous. Yeah. Now you've got – this big dude in the middle yeah. sucking up the blockers. Now the linebackers can run free. So you said that sucking up the blockers and, and Hogue. In this scheme, yeah. Tampa 2 is not sucking up blockers by any yeah. means. It's penetration. And that's the biggest thing. Okay. So if he can learn how to they're making him the one technique, but I don't think that's what this is. I, I think yeah. he's going to be a three technique yeah. because he's running a 4-8. Okay. But when I look at it, he, he's catching blocks, and he has the strength to be able to, to, to fend them off. But for me, I, I needed a guy like Benton. I needed a guy like Double A, uh, Kalijah Cansey, who I love, that got off the football. And then this scheme right here, it's not a different scheme, not a base scheme. It's a Tampa 2 where penetration kills everything. Yeah, I just saw some interesting nuggets here. So I guess throughout this draft process, NFL Network was talking about it too. And Dexter mentioned that he gets compared a lot to Chris Jones out of Kansas City. And uh, I guess he was That's interesting because that was my comp for Benton. Inter that yeah. is interesting. And I guess uh, Dexter was recruited by the same coaching staff that Chris Jones was recruited at Mississippi State. And Dexter played the same role in the same defense in college. And Jones fell to the Chiefs in around two. So there's just a lot of different similarities here. Not saying he is that going to be 
And Chris Jones player for the Bears, but that's what Ryan Poles is holding. That would be nice if he could be Chris Jones. Yes, it would be.